All right. We also need to keep in mind that the colors of light are going to be important. Blue light penetrates the deepest in the ocean, but think about this. If we have a lot of phytoplankton in the surface waters that are absorbing blue light, it might be that only green light is available. So as I had talked about earlier, the phytoplankton have to shift their photosynthetic machinery. They have to make different chlorophylls or different helper pigments, accessory pigments, to be able to absorb the wavelengths of light that are most available. That is what's called photoadaptation. They may photoadapt by changing the concentration of chlorophylls or changing the types of chlorophylls or changing the types of accessory pigments. Or what it may be is that a particular phytoplankton species that is already adapted to absorbing a particular wavelength of light becomes the dominant one. So light intensity, just like you have sun plants and shade plants, and light color, where you have different wavelengths of light penetrating, different wavelengths of light being more available or less available, those two quantities, light intensity and light spectrum, can change the ecology of phytoplankton. Certain species are low light adapted. Certain species may be more green adapted or more blue adapted. So it provides a variety of different kinds of niches, if you will, on, along which evolution can occur to tune different species to provide habitats for different species in, a, in terms of a physical property like light. So again, even though it's not like mountains, valleys, and the kinds of habitats you think about, something as simple as light intensity and light color can actually create habitat in the ocean for different kinds of phytoplankton species and that's probably why we have so many species of phytoplankton because they are able to find an environment that just suits them in particular and they grow faster than other kinds of species so keep all these kinds of things in mind the the light properties and the ability of the phytoplankton to adapt to those light properties have profound implications for productivity in the ocean i just talked about photo adaptation in this um, slide. And if you remember from chapter 12, we talked about the subsurface chlorophyll maximum. Well, that subsurface chlorophyll maximum may be a response to low light. So phytoplankton, as the light intensity decreases, one of the things that they can do is just make more chlorophyll. They have more of those chlorophyll antennae able to absorb those photons of light. So the amount of chlorophyll per cell may increase or simply it may reflect more individual phytoplankton cells creating this subsurface chlorophyll maximum. And we've seen both of those things in the ocean. You will observe both of those things, increases in cellular chlorophyll as well as just simply increases in numbers of phytoplankton. And that's a response of photoadaptation. Again, these responses, these photoadaptive responses, have implications for rates of primary productivity in the ocean. And so teasing out how these things may affect growth rates is important in the ocean. Okay. As I said before, some species may be sun adapted and others may be shade adapted. And again, we find those kinds of things in the world ocean where certain species of cyanobacteria, in fact, uh, may grow better at low light conditions than high light conditions. So I know it sounds like I'm beating this topic to death, but all of these kinds of things, the, the plasticity in the organism, in the species themselves, their ability to adapt as well as different species being adapted for different kinds of conditions, all this stuff's going to impact rates of primary production in the ocean. And these kinds of changes, these changes in sunlight happen every day. The availability of sunlight changes on seasonal scales. The availability of sunlight changes on annual scales. So sunlight is governing not only just uh, the abundance, but also the kinds of species that we see as well. And of course, a lot of this is going to be a little bit complicated and it takes years of studying this stuff to appreciate why it's important. But nonetheless, it's 
good to expose yourself to it. 